Hi friends, welcome back. In today's session, we are going to discuss about bank account simulation application. So this is going to be series of videos will be there. Today we are going to start API application where we are going to discuss how to create the bank account, how to do the transactions and we can generate the different reports here. First, we are going to create one solution here. Let me create new project. Here I look for blank solution. Let me select blank solution. Click on next. I will name it as bank account simulation and I will store in this directory. Let me create, click on create. So our solution has been created. Here I am going to add new project, new project. Here I am going to create ASP.NET Core Web API. Select the next. Here let me I will name it as API. This is my project name. Click on next. I am going to use latest.NET Framework 8. Click on create. Our API project has been created. So in this project, we are going to work on API. Then we are going to implement this API in ASP.NET Core MVC application. Let me create one folder called models. Inside this models, I am going to create one class file. I will name it as account. This is my model. In bank account, we will be having some properties. Let me set the properties. I am going to use GUID. This is going to be ID. Then another property, account number. Also, we need name here, first name. last name account number then i'll add balance so this is account model i need another model for transactions let me create one more class this is going to be transaction Inside this transaction, we will be having properties ID. Then account ID. Amount, it's a transaction amount. Transaction date. Can give the transaction description we will create another class here let me add another class for transaction type so transaction type this is going to be enum we don't want class here we can define deposit and withdrawal okay. 
now each transaction will be having transaction type let me link this transaction type this will be type of transaction also in account we need list of transactions let me add here another property I'll add list of transactions here this is going to be transactions here we have created three different classes one is account account will be having ID first name last name account number and the balance here we have created another model for transaction so these are all the columns we added account ID we are taking here amount and the transaction date transaction description we have created one enum for deposit and withdrawal type so the type is related with the transaction table list of transactions are added to the account model now I'm going to create one DAL folder here let me create del inside this I'm going to create app DB context class app DB context this is my class so we are going to use entity framework core code first approach let me add the required packages right click on this project go to manage new get packages browse entity framework install this package accept select this equal server accept and we need tools So we have installed all the required packages. Go to the AppDB context. This AppDB context will be inherited from DB context. Let me add required namespace. It is entity framework core. Select the DB context. Go to quick actions here generate constructor with options here we need to add all our tables so we have two tables account and transaction let me add the properties so i'll create db set of account let me change this name as accounts in our sql table it will be created as accounts i'll duplicate this then transaction transactions so now we have to add connection string to communicate with the database go to the app settings dot json file here we need to add connection string here my connection string name will be default connection i have to provide server name then database name then password and the user user i can provide password and trust server certificate so I'm going to provide all these details now. This is my SQL server. Here, let me copy my server name. And database name, I'll give bank application. Let me bank app. This is my database. User ID and password I can provide here. Now we have to register this default connection in program.cs class. Go to the program.cs before builder.build. 
builder dot services dot add db context here we have to provide our db context name this is my db context let me add here here we have to pause the options options dot use sql server here we need to pass our connection string name you can get it from here this is connection string name so now we can connect with our database so we have to move the all these classes to database let me go to the package manager console add migration this is initial migration update database trust server certificate let me go here trust i'll update again to database and we can check our db refresh database is here so this is our database you can see the tables accounts and transactions so we are going to work on these two tables let me go to the application so we have created one web api application here we have created two models it's account model and transaction model so this is the transaction type enum which we are going to use in the transactions model and we are going to get the list of transactions by each account so next we created one dal folder here we have created app db context and we used entity framework core code first approach to migrate all our entities to the database after this we have created connection string inside app setting dot json this is our connection string to communicate with the database after that so we have registered connection string inside our program dot cs class this is dependency injection we created in program dot cs so now we can communicate with database finally we have migrated all our db entities by using package manager console by using these two commands add migration and update database that's it for today if you like this video Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.